Hey guys, welcome to Keep It Real. So, end of December, we're towards the end of the 30 day vlog challenge. And if you haven't noticed, there hasn't been a lot of like family Lily videos. And there's a reason to that. We are both working, she's finished her, her maternity leave. And unfortunately, we've had to separate from Lily for a bit. We are without doubt weekend parents and she is a weekend baby. She's staying at her mom's house for the time being. So today we just want to share with you guys what it's like to live away from our baby Lily. First of all, why are we weekend parents? Why is she a weekend baby? Mainly because uh, we're both working. I am working an office job but with very uh, unstable hours. Meaning if, if let's say there's an event or let's say there's a particular deadline I need to follow up, I will very much need to follow it up. Sometimes I get to work home which is great but a lot of times I am not that consistent in my timing but it's worse for her. She is a nurse which means she works shifts. So sometimes she's working the night shift, sometimes she's working the day shift and sometimes she's working the afternoon shift which makes it very difficult to plan when to take care of the baby and it's not necessarily easy to get a babysitter to come in at any time of the day. Baby care is expensive especially when you live in Sha'ala so I've tried to look down for babysitters that are willing to take care of our baby that could be flexible you know taking care of her according to my time of work there are ones uh, there are several ones that uh, are willing but they are kind of expensive and also I have heard of many cases in Sha'alam itself with babysitters that is abusive, that cause harm to the baby. We were quite scared of that happen to Lily. And also being a pediatric nurse, she takes care of kids and then she can really see like what's the effects of bad childcare. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do this? Personally, I go back during the weekends. So I either go back on Friday night and I stay there until Sunday and I come back on Sunday because I still gotta do chores. Or I do my chores on Saturday and I go back on Saturday night and I go to work on Monday and then just come back to work after that. As in for me, I will, I will go back to my mom's house during my off days which is um, one day per week So because I work like six days a week and also after my night shifts which is quite random. Uh, on occasions that we have the same days off, that's the time we take the opportunity to take Lily out. We go take Lily to meet her, her other grandparents, my parents, mm -hmm. uh, other relatives and all that. Or just take her out to have some fun. Most of the time that's family time and we all go out together. With everything in life, there are pros and cons to everything that you do. So I just want to share with you guys what is the good and what is the bad of living away from your baby. Um, the first one would be we have more rest time and which is really important when we live with our baby we don't really have time for ourselves so in the medical field she gets more rest time that's very important for her for me i get more work time which means i have more time to shoot videos and edit videos i get more time to take up uh, mc jobs or beatboxing jobs so all that's very beneficial it's not great right now but in the long term hopefully it can bear a bit more fruit for me and my family and final good is as mentioned by shaza just now uh, child care is really taken care of not just in terms of financially although no we do help out in terms of financial assistance over there but the most important thing for us is that Lily is safe and we know that she's in a place that uh, we can trust uh, it doesn't matter which parent or which family is taking care of her as long as it's family taking care of her we can almost be certain that she is going to be happy healthy and safe and the bad first thing for us is that we just just miss her we miss having her around uh, I, I mentioned before that going to work in the morning is the toughest part about being a dad just because she's like so cute and you can't really get over how cute she is in the morning and I always end up going late for work so that, that just that playtime is less than what we had before the bad side of it is because we are traveling more to see Lily in my mom's house so we are spending more on the fuel and also toll traveling cost on my end has gone up about 20% in fuel and about 10% in toll costs. It would be more expensive for, for childcare, but it, it makes more sense to do it this way because number one, it's a little bit cheaper and then number two, she, she's just a little bit more safe. Also, the downside of it is when your baby is still small, they don't really recognize who is who and who's their mom. They would technically think that whoever that spends more time with them is their mom. I, when I sent Lily to my mom's house, for over a week, she kind of like already forgot me. <laughs> so I felt really bad about that for not spending more time with her and then she is unwilling to bond with me. She's just at the age where whoever's in front of her the most, that is the one she's going to bond with the most. But she gets older and she understands the situation better than 
Uh, it's slowly she'll, she'll flip around, so uh, so don't be too sad. I don't know about that because I've heard about um, the other side of the story where uh, my friends send out their children to their grandmas. You know, they, they will know who is mom, who is grandma at the end of the day, but they will still have that bond. We'll let you know in seven years. <laughs> if you would like to comment about this video and give us your opinion or share anything you can comment down below in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe give it a like and yeah thank you bye keep it real there we go